I'm going to be showing you guys every single working glitch in Season 3 of Cold War Zombies. Make sure to like and subscribe if this does help you. The first glitch is an AFK pile glitch. First, you want to do the glitch to skip the first door by knife lunging the zombie like I do. Then you want to go and enter the teleporter and turn on the power in all three locations. Here are the locations. The first one to activate is in the mission control room. The second one to activate is in the data center. The third one you have to activate is in the military command ether reactor. You should have done all this by round 5 and once you do that, you want to go back inside the teleporter and you want to wait around 30 seconds to one minute for the zombies to start spawning in as you can see on my screen when the zombies do spawn in they will go afk in that one spot but what you want to do is kill them then you want to come to the spot where i am and you want to go exactly there now you're going to see when the zombies do spawn in they all will walk right past you except there will be a zombie every now and then that will attack you but a lot of times they'll run away if you don't kill them this glitch is actually insane because when you do stay here all the zombies will just run right past you and you can kill them with whenever you want so that's why i recommend having an ar or an smg not a close range gun because the zombies will go back and forth pretty far away from you this glitch affects all types of zombies including the manglers and the mimics and it'll work in the later rounds too which makes it extremely effective another way you can do this glitch is by charging up your either shroud then you want to come where i do use it then you want to do exactly what i do but you want to go over here this time and then you can kill all the zombies this way and you'll have the same effect So for this glitch, you will need a friend. So if you don't have a friend to do this with, go drop your active and ID in the comments down below. Someone will help you out or I'll try to. So pretty much what you need for this glitch is tombstone. And what you need to do is let your let a zombie down you or down yourself. Then what you want to do is enter your tombstone. And I recommend leaving a zombie at the end of round two just to make this easier. But you want to make your way to a jump pad with your teammate. And once you reach the jump pad, you want to wait for your health to go to the very end. And once your health reaches zero, you want to tell your teammate to activate the jump pad so you should be activating the jump pad while your health is zero so once your teammate has used the jump pad you will be spectating him and once he kills the final zombie and you respawn you will be in complete god mode and nothing will be able to hit you including the manglers and the mimics there is still one more step you need to do if you want to enter the teleporters pretty much what you want to do is come over to the spawn area you want to go to this atrium then you want to stare at this bunny until it stares at you then you're going to be teleported into this weird place then you want to follow these these purple lights and you want to shoot them three times Times and you want to keep following them then once you reach this box you want to open it and you will be done then you're going to be able to go through the teleporter while still having god mode the only bad thing about this glitch is that only one person in the lobby can get god mode because if you go through the jump pad again you will lose it what i recommend doing is coming over to where i go in the mission control room and you want to make your teammate go behind you and there's all the zombies will pile up around you so your teammate can get the kills and you can too and you guys will pretty much be in god mode i recommend staying here for so you can grind xp and camels do whatever you need to do this is a pretty OP spot. This next glitch is an AFK XP glitch. So what you want to do for this glitch is make sure you don't open the first door. But you want to make sure you also have your either shroud charged up. And what you want to do is come over here. Then you want to skip the first door by using the either shroud where I do. And then you just want to jump up and use the teleporter. Then you just want to buy this gate here. You want to walk all the way where I do. Then you're going to want to come over to this door, right? And you also want to make sure you have your either shard charged up. And you will need either shard tier 5 for this glitch. So if you don't have that, make sure to level it up. But pretty much what you want to do is charge your either shard till you have at least one of them. Then you want to stand exactly where I do. You want to look where I do. And you want to use your either shroud in the same direction. If done correctly, you will be outside of the map. And you will be outside of this barrier. It's literally as simple as that getting out of the map. But the next step is for the unlimited xp so then you want to hit options and you want to change your class to a class with toxic growth if you don't know how to do that you want to press triangle or whatever button it is to edit your class then you just want to add your toxic growth to the field upgrade and you want to equip that class it won't change your gun all it'll change is the field upgrade to toxic growth and then once again you want to charge up your toxic growth by killing the zombies it might be a little hard because the zombies do take a while to load in but once you kill all of them you should be good so now i'm going to show you guys where the afk parts come in but there will be a little barrier to your right and all you want to do is just walk right around that then once you have your toxic growth charge it up you want to wait for all the zombies to pile up in front of you because they will pile up on the other side of this gate and once you see that a bunch of zombies are piled up in front of you you just want to spam the deploy button and you're going to see that it keeps saying cannot deploy here but you just want to keep spamming it until it deploys and it will deploy on the other side of the gate that's how you know you did it correctly and from there the toxic growth charge will just stay there it will never leave it'll just continuously kill the zombies while you're afk
The next glitch is a pile of glitch. This glitch is extremely simple and it doesn't require anything else. All you want to do is make your way to the scorch defense. You want to come over to these sandbags or whatever these things are. Then you want to look where I do. You want to go where I do. You want to jump and mantle up on this thing and move a little bit backwards. And if done correctly, all the zombies will walk towards you and they'll pile up right below you. I'm not too sure how effective this glitch is against the bosses, but it works against the zombies. This glitch is a little hard to do because if you do it wrong, the zombies will start throwing their meat at you, but once you get the right positioning, this glitch is perfect. I recommend using this glitch for XP and camos because the zombies pile up below you so you can get easy headshots. The third glitch I have is a pile of glitch. Make your way to these boxes in the helipad, and then all you want to do is jump while you're backpedaling, so what you want to do is jump and hold your analog stick backwards, and if done correctly, you will be in the glitch. It might be a little tricky but i recommend just jumping and then moving your analog stick back for like a second or like half a second it makes it so much easier but it is extremely worth it in the end because all the zombies pile up right below you make it extremely easy to get camos this glitch could also be used as an afk glitch but i recommend using it as a pile glitch just because a megaton or any of the other elites can spawn in in the middle of each round as you can see this glitch works on the other boxes too it gives the same effect and you just have to do the exact same thing i'm going to be showing you guys every single way you can skip the first door in firebase z now the first method is by using the either shroud so you want to make sure you have the either shroud ready for the first method you want to follow exactly where i go then when you come to the edge you want to just use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the second glitch you want to do the same thing by jumping onto this little thing then you want to jump up and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the next glitch all you want to do is come over these boxes here you want to stand exactly where i do then you want to jump and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can do the same things as before now the last method is probably the hardest method but what you want to do is make your way to this fence in the courtyard you want to make sure you have a zombie running towards you and all you want to do is prop up against a fence and knife and you will be boosted into the air this is also the best method since you could do this on round one this next glitch is a pilot glitch and the footage is by warfighter v7 his channel will be in the description below go subscribe to him So the only thing you need for this glitch is toxic growth tier 3, but what you want to do is come over to the crash site, you want to go where I do, then you want to do what I do on screen and you want to jump and then jump up again to mantle up on this thing. You'll know if you did the glitch correctly if your feet start dangling in the air, but what you do want to do from there is pile up a bunch of zombies below you and you want to make sure your toxic growth is at 2 charges, then you want to jump down from the glitch, you want to activate the first toxic growth charge, then you want to wait about 2-3 to three seconds and activate the second one. If you do this correctly, then the toxic growth will be stuck in that spot so in slow motion you want to drop from the glitch use the toxic growth wait two to three seconds then use it again and it will say can't deploy here and you're gonna see that you haven't used your second charge but it'll still be placed then once you do all that you want to jump back in the pile of glitch like i did at the start of the video and then now all the zombies will run to that spot in the toxic growth and they'll pile up right below you and instantly die this next glitch is going to be an unlimited ammo glitch for your pistols but pretty much what you want to do is equip dual wielded pistols then you want to shoot only your left gun but you want to make sure it doesn't reach below one ammo then when you reach one ammo on your gun you want to go press options then you want to apply any of these blueprints and you will have your ammo back you can do this however many times you want but it isn't really too practical This next glitch is an AFK glitch by the health pad, but what you want to do is come over to this box, you want to go prone, and you will be in god mode, but you can't move from here. What I recommend doing is grabbing a C4, and you can get to do the unlimited C4 glitch here too. You are invincible to all zombies, including the manglers and the mimics. Other than that, this glitch is pretty useless. You can also go to the other side of the plane over here and do the same thing. The next glitch is a weapon duplication glitch. This glitch does work with every single gun, but the gun I use in this video is a gallo. Turn on the power, then activate Pack-a-Punch. All you want to do is have one gun that you want to duplicate, and you want to have another gun, such as a wall gun or a gun from the mystery box. You also need 5,000 points. Then you want to make your way to the Pack-a-Punch machine. Then you want to hold your interact button. So for PlayStation users, that's square. So you want to hold it for about half a second, and you want to quickly switch to your other weapon. And once you exit the Pack-a-Punch machine, you will 
still have two of the same gun. So once again in slow motion, all you want to do is go to the pack of each machine, then you want to hold square about halfway, then you want to quickly switch to your other weapon. The weapon you're holding before you enter the pack a punch machine is the weapon you're going to be duplicating. You can pack a punch the duplicated weapon, you can give it an ammo mod, you can do whatever you want with it. This glitch is a high rounds pile of glitch and die machine. What you want to do is come over to the medical bay, then you want to come over to this weird little thing here, then you just want to mantle up on this while you're backpedaling and if done correctly the zombies should start piling up below you and sometimes they'll come behind you. The spot is extremely effective since it could be used for high rounds and the megatons won't even spawn in in this spot if you stay here. It's also extremely easy to do and if you ever need ammo you can go over to the ammo box close to this area. You can pick up all power ups and drops in this spot and you're invincible to all zombies and dogs. The megaton won't spawn so you don't have a problem with that. This glitch is also really useful for getting camos because you can get easy critical kills in this spot. The next two glitches are on die machine and they're both pile up glitches. On die machine you want to make your way to the crash site then you want to come over to this broken plane and you want to jump and mantle over the plane like I do. If done correctly your feet will be floating up in the air. You need to make sure you mantle on it exactly like I do because if you don't do it you will just end up on top of the spawn and all the zombies will throw their meat at you. Now no zombies or dogs will be able to attack you but the boss still can hit you and will kill you if you don't kill it fast enough so that's why I recommend having ring of fire just so when the boss does spawn you can easily kill it. You can't pick up any drops but you can pick up all the power ups in this spot. Make your way to the pond you want to come over to this truck then you want to do exactly what I do by running and sprinting into this thing on screen. So it may take a few tries but you just want to keep moving back and forth and sprinting into this and you're gonna know if you did it correctly if your feet start floating up in the air. Now the zombies will go afk and they will pile up where you jumped into the truck. The dogs and zombies will pile up but the megatons can still hit you in this glitch so you want to make sure you kill them fast by equipping ring of fire. You can not pick up any drops or power ups in this glitch. All the zombies pretty much go afk so it makes it super easy to get critical kills for your camos. Now these are all the glitches I have for you guys today. If you need help or if any of these don't work let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.